Hello everyone, this is Christopher Fernandez from the EFTT team. I'm doing part four of the Big Daddy Rubber Band Expert Advisor. Um, so here's my information. I, following the example of my teammates and putting it here at the beginning of the video. All right, so let's get started. So the one I'm going to be talking about, the signal that was used, in, one of the signals that was used in our expert advisor was my double top and bottom. And what I had discussed in my double top and bottom video where I explained everything was that double top and bottom is usually in the shape of an M or a W. And that works out to being we have one peak, one trough, and then a second peak in the M shape which is the, the main double top and bottom, and then the W is the reverse double top and bottom, which is a, a trough, a peak, or at least what could be considered a peak, and then another trough. Not all uh, double top and bottoms look like this, where it's a very, a very defined M or W shape. There are a lot that are like kind of like this, which is kind of a trough, and then a little bit of a gray area where it's flat and not very sharp, and then we have another sharp trough or peak, whichever one we would have in that situation. So going down here to uh, MetaTrader, so we can see that uh, we have, we had, I had already run uh, the Expert Advisor to run, and the whole uh, period was all of 2018, which is what my other group members used for uh, the Great Britain Pound USD and H4. I had it run already because it's a little slow on my computer and I don't want to waste time in the video having it run for like a minute or two. Um, so we can see the whole thing moving along. It obviously it has the the red lines which are dealing with moving average like uh, Joseph explained in his video. But the one we're going to be paying attention to right now is going to be the double top and bottom. So I had picked out a few examples of it that happened in the uh, in this timeline in the expert advisor, and so one of the big things about the double top bottom and head and shoulders is that because it's kind of a guessing game, like Justin had mentioned in his video, uh, a lot of the time they can get missed. The only real way to detect them as accurate, even more accurately, would be if we were to put a lot of more time and effort into into making uh, the signals, but yeah, I mean, I I would think that we would need at least a year to really make them good. But I, for for what we're using them for in this class, they're pretty they're pretty accurate. So I have one here. It's January twenty fourth. That's it. All right. So we're gonna zoom in a little, and you can see right here. This is a pretty defined uh, double top and bottom. You can see here. So we have a peak. It's a very slow peak. It's not as sharp, but it's still well defined enough that we can consider it a double top and bottom. So we have the top, bottom, top, and then it continues on into a different shape. So one of the things we can see here is that it made cells. Yes. So it made so because of how uh, the the way it looks, when we have it in this format, it. It, it connects on the lines properly. When I do it in this, they kind of get moved around. So this buy is actually supposed to be back here on the line. So you can see, because it goes in order of this cell, which was somewhere over here, then this buy, then this cell, and then so on and so forth. So we can see that this buy, which is supposed to be connected over here, was bought on a low part, and then it sold at the peak. And then over here, we have our next buy, and then we sell... So this one was a buy and sell pretty much on the same point, so it didn't. It kind of canceled itself out. But then we have another sell up here at the peak, and another buy which would have connected over here along this branching line towards the bottom, and then it continues on from that. Uh, so we have this one that's pretty well defined. We have another one on May fifteenth, which is further down the line, and some of these aren't as well defined. Uh, the one of the issues with double top and bottom is that what a double top and bottom can be considered a double top and bottom even if it doesn't look like it because many of them aren't well defined but because of how the shape works it's it's just how how it how you determine it based on how on how it looks so like here would be another double top and bottom right here 
but then in this case it did a sell here towards one of the peaks but then it did the buy down here and it didn't because it didn't detect it that well it didn't do the, all of the buys and sells it's like the original one because it's a little less defined it's kind of messy so that's one of the examples where you can see that it's not as good as it could be um, then we go down to something like June 12th which is a miss and this is all the accuracy of how it works so here's a double top and bottom that didn't get any trades done it's very well defined and that could have just been because there were other uh, signals in the way as, like Jonathan mentioned it's impossible for us to really know which signal these trades occurred on because there's four different signals that the expert advisor is using so we don't I don't know what this what signal ended up being decided for this trade for example or this trade we can kind of take a guess at it but it most likely it, it we wouldn't be able to tell unless we tested it the expert advisor with only an expert advisor with only one signal on the same data and then picked out every single one going along which would be very time consuming uh, and then last one I wanted to show was November 28th which here okay so here's another one that's kind of undefined but you can see that there was a very sharp transition so we made a nice profit here on this one at least as nice as it could be considering everything is in small decimals uh, but this is more of a sharp double top and bottom but because it detected it at the big on the first at least on the first uh, top we were able to get a good buy sell ratio going unfortunately you missed the second one so a lot of them tended to be that they were they did it on the first half but not the second half of the double top and bottom only the first one really that I showed you was was uh, really one of the ones that had a proper buy sell ratio going on every single do uh, top bottom and trough to get to get the maximum usage out of the double top and bottom it's not one of the best signals but it does its job and working together with the other signals really helps to keep up the coverage on all of the different parts of the program so that we can get as much profit as we can get. Uh, so I guess that's going to be it for me today. Thank you very much for listening and if you have any questions just contact me at the email that I had posted at, at the beginning of the video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.